So I am in Lompoc, California right now to check out the local geology, but also to see some major foldage. In geology, folds are layers of rock that were originally flat that have been bent into folds from tectonic stress. Synclines fold downward and anticlines fold upward. What we have behind me is a very localized syncline. It's very small. And the way to remember syncline is that syncline bends down almost in a smile shape. So when you think of syncline, think of the letter S and just, you know, synclines make you smile. So you can see here in this beautiful anticline how folds are a way of basically forming a hill. Right where it bumps up is a high point in the topography and it goes back down. Lompoc displays folds of all sizes. You've got things that are as large as an entire valley, which the city is located in, but also very small ones, like what we have here, which is mainly only uh, a couple meters across. So you can see that basically these hills and drainages are a connection of alternating synclines and anticlines. So here, the rock goes down into a syncline, it comes back up into an anticline, down into a little tiny shallow syncline, and back up to a big anticline. So this is the Monterey Formation. It's a major rock formation throughout California. It dates to the Miocene. So let's say it's maybe 15 million years old or so here. And uh, it's, it used to be under the, the ocean in, in relatively deep water. And although there's other shales and mudstones around here, the thing that caught my eye is the, uh, let's find a good one, is all the chert. So uh, chert is uh, basically super pressurized silica goo that started off as the, the skeletons of little, little diatoms. And so it's the same stuff that diatomite is made of, only it's been put under a lot more pressure and buried more deeply. And so the Monterey formation was buried more deeply than the overlying Sisquak. And so the Sisquak formation has the diatomite, um, which is useful for diatomaceous earth, but this stuff got buried too deep and it turned into this kind of goo and rehardened. Um, still cool rock though. Uh, uh, chert is the same stuff as flint, so without this we couldn't have had our Revolutionary War or whatever you use flint for these days. From Lookout Point you can see diatomite of the Sisquak Formation, the rock that's immediately above the Monterey Formation we saw before. Keep a lookout for diatomite on the side of the trail on your way up. Diatomite is soft and white, giving Lompoc's hills a distinct white color. It's made up of many microscopic diatom fossils, which are a type of algae. So basically, Lompoc's beautiful hills are a massive diatom cemetery. Diatomaceous earth is quarried in Lompoc for use in explosives, insecticides, and filtration systems. You may notice that there's a lot of sand in Lompoc. Much of it is from the ore cut sand deposit, which extends throughout the foothills to the north and west of the town. It's comprised of sand that has blown into this area for thousands of years, that once formed dunes that have stabilized and grown over with vegetation. In areas like the top of Burton Mesa, the sand has solidified into sandstone through iron oxide cementation, which gives the rocks a rusty color. So we're on the north side of Lompoc right now, and what we have right in front of us is the Purissima anticline. And you can see that on either side of the center of the screen, the rocks are folding uh, away from each other. And if you kind of think about it, this anticline is pumping up these layers here, creating the hills of northern Lompoc. So we have this syncline that extends from one side of the town to the other, and it pops back up, and the fold direction changes right here at the Prisima. Uh, anticline. So on the north side of Lompoc, we have the same rock that we saw on the other side in the hills, the Sisquak Formation Diatomite. And over here, it's the same exact rock, it's just been folded in the middle in a syncline, which is why we don't see it where the town of Lompoc is. But if I zoom in across the hills here, we should see these kind of white spots in the south side of Lompoc Hills, uh, which is basically where the quarry for this, this you know, same rock material, this diatomite, is. 
And what explains why they're not connected, obviously, is because they, they fold downward in this area in a giant syncline, which is basically this valley before us. So to summarize, there are three major rock formations in Lompoc. The Monterey Formation, the Sisquak Formation, and the Orcut Sands. They've been folded through tectonic activity to create the hills to the south and north of Lompoc, and the town itself is in one large synclinal valley. Be sure to check out Lompoc for its flowers and its major foldage. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to Poopy Archaeology to learn more about the past.